Hi guys, Adrian the Porsche Lover. So today we're going to talk about why does car tires explode? Let's deep dive into this subject for today. As usual, we will start off with a wristwatch check. So on my wrist today is actually a Seiko Sea Urchin. This is a very lovely example of a Pepsi dial. I've actually ghosted the dial myself and looks beautiful. This watch is actually very special and important to me because it's my first automatic watch and my late wife actually bought this as a birthday gift for me. Okay, back to the topic at hand. I would say that Tyre is actually one of the most important Angsan heroes for the car. Reason I say that is because a lot of people actually focus on to the power, how to tune the engine to get higher horsepower, higher torque, changing the suspension to tune it to handle better, putting bigger brick kits so that it stops better. But the tire is the only contact patch between the car and the road. So therefore, even if you have all those power, the braking suspension, if you can't fully put it down on the road, then you cannot utilize the full potential of the car. The reason why I made this video is because a lot of people during this lockdown actually drives their car less. So, end of the day, they store the car at home and when they do drive the car, there are instances where my clients and friends, they actually had their tires exploding when they're driving. Yes, you heard it right, exploding. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. They were driving about 50, 60 km per hour and the tire exploded. They managed to control the car and then pull to one side without any untoward incidents. If you did dive into why tires explode, you will see that it doesn't happen immediately. It will happen over a period of time. Initially, small little micro cracks will start to develop on the tires itself, which you can see physically. Then over time, they become bigger and bigger. And at the same time, these uh, tires might flick off in terms of the rubber. So it comes to a point where you actually apply load, you drive hard, you apply heat pressure. These tires will give way because the structure of the tires are already compromised. So I'd like to share you how this can happen. Why does the tire explode? So there are three main reasons why this happens. The first one will be the tire stiffening. So tires are actually made from rubber, as you all know, and degrades over time. In order to make the tire stiffer, they actually go through this process called vulcanization. What this means is that it actually apply heat and pressure tires to make it able to take higher loads. As you know, our car weight is pretty heavy. So imagine you have four pieces of tires, let's say a Myvi with a 15 or 16 inch rim. You are taking so much pressure and so much weight onto the tires itself, which is contacting the ground. So they walk on the tire to make it able to withstand those heavy loads for the tires. Besides withstanding heavy loads, vulcanization also helps to improve the flexibility of the tire. Reason why is because Malaysians are famous or infamous for potholes. So imagine if you hit the tire into a pothole at very high speeds or high impact, it can actually burst the tire, which I think some of you might have heard before where low profile tires with big rims exploding when the rims actually go through a pothole. As you drive, the, you, the tires will generate heat and friction. So that will actually continuously welcome the tires to a point where it's so stiff that small cracks actually appear because it became brittle. The second reason why tires degrade is because of oxidation. So oxidation happens due to three reasons. Number one, due to the UV sunlight. Number two is due to heat and number three is due to oxygen. So you have these three items combined, it will cause the tire to oxidize. So once the tire oxidizes, what will happen is that the tire compound will actually start to break apart. And when that happens, the tire actually loses its flexibility, loses its strength, and also it will cause the tire to degrade. The last and final one will be due to humidity. Tires actually degrade due to humidity. As we all know, rubber is actually waterproof, but over the years, moisture can actually permeate through the rubber, and this will actually loosen the bond between the, the tires and the rim. The effect of this will be that the bonding between the rims and the tires will weaken. 
this will actually reduce the heat resistance of the tire so as you mentioned earlier in the first point vulcanization so if you have higher heat basically you are vulcanizing the the tire even faster so this actually cause the tire to age faster or wear out faster by itself how do we counter all these issues i give you three simple tips number one the first tip please keep your tires inflated this is so important make sure that it is not over inflated or under inflated when the tire is properly inflated it will run at the optimum level and this will actually prolong the lifespan of the tires number two if possible park the cars in the shade when you're not driving it reason is because like i said earlier uv sunlight heat actually degrades the tire itself so if you are parking the car very often or it's a secondary car or a spare car or even a Porsche where you drive it on the weekends please park it in the shade where sunlight or UV light cannot reach the tires and this will actually help to prolong the lifespan of the tires the last and final tip will be please change the tires after five years of usage even though the tread level is very thick it's still usable but the fact is that due to all these reasons micro cracks will appear and it will explode if you like this video, please give it a like and leave comments down below. In the meantime, cheers guys, stay safe.